In this video, we'll look at the L1 Pro 32 Submatch Connection. Unlike the L1 Pro 8 and L1 Pro 16, the L1 Pro 32 does not have a built-in sub-module and is designed to be paired with the Sub-1 or Sub-2. Connection to these modules is easy with the included patented submatch cable that uses a robust spring-loaded locking collar and matching submatch ports found on the L1 Pro 32, Sub-1, and Sub-2. The submatch cable transfers both power and audio from the L1 Pro 32 system to the Sub-1 or Sub-2. This means you only need to have one AC power connection running to the L1 Pro 32 system for a simple and organized setup. With your L1 Pro 32 system powered off, connect the black end of the color-coded submatch cable to the black submatch port on the L1 Pro 32 I.O. panel. Connect the gray end of the submatch cable to the submatch port on the Sub-1 or Sub-2 I.O. panel. This port is paired with a sliding cover for the optional IEC power connection when not used with a submatch cable. Power on the L1 Pro 32 and then power on the submodule. Once everything is powered on, it's time to make sure that the submodule settings are set correctly. For the standard L1 Pro 32 and submodule setup, the volume knob should be set to the 12 o'clock position, and the polarity should be set to the positive position. And finally, the line in setting will be automatically set to the L1 position. Now that the system is set up, connect your source and adjust the sub volume to suit your performance. Note that if your performance is overall using a lower volume level, it's recommended to raise the sub-module's volume level slightly to maintain a balance between low and mid-high frequencies. When your performance is over, make sure that the system is powered off before disconnecting the submatch cable. This configuration is one of many available configurations that is possible with the L1 Pro 32 system. For additional support, visit our website.